Now, Q&A looks behind the scenes of Yorkshire Dales Radio. On Q&A tonight, keeping the Dales alive with the sound of music. How this radio station stretches the pennies to keep its show on the road. You've got to be at work at uh, 7 o'clock. You're going to have to get a move on. You're all going to get honked. Go out and wake up. We can do it. Hello and a very warm welcome to Q&A. Tonight we turn on and tune in to the future of television. Now, are you thrilled or appalled at the prospect of 200 TV channels? Well, brace yourselves, because the latest technology means it'll be a reality this summer. We'll be looking into the future of the box later in the programme. But first, we go behind the scenes of a rather more traditional style of broadcasting. Yorkshire Dales Radio has been on the air for nearly a year now. It has a tiny staff and an even smaller budget, yet it has to cover one of the largest areas of any station in the country. So, as Q&A discovered, you need stamina and versatility to work at the station. Yorkshire Dales Radio is on the air, but the studio is empty. At night, a tight budget means the station is on autopilot, broadcasting a pre-recorded tape. The first real live broadcaster to arrive at the prefab studio near Skipton, breakfast show presenter Graham Bauer. I'm an electronics engineer. Uh, through that, I got involved with uh, mending PA systems and the like, and that sort of spread to me doing PA hire, discos, etc., etc. And I thought I quite enjoy this. So now I'm doing this every morning. Well, very good morning indeed. What a chilly day. Oh, we're getting underway right now with Sheik from 1978. A lot of it's waffle, I must confess. A lot is waffle. You've got to be at work at uh, 7 o'clock. You're going to have to get a move on. You are going to get honked. <laughs> Come on, wake up. We can do it. Drape those lily white legs out of the, bath out of the bed and uh, make your way to the bathroom. Give the old teeth a quick, uh, quick sluice. A quick sluice with the old teeth. 40 minutes to 7 o'clock. I think Chris Evans is probably a lot better than me. I mean, <laughs> who knows? Uh, Doing a breakfast show, you have an awful lot of competition with the Zoe Balls and the Chris Evans of this world. So you've got to go in and entertain. That's basically what it's about. You've got to entertain people. Yeah. There he goes. Elton John, a man with a spring of spaniel on his head. I think that's what it is. Spring of spaniel. <laughs> The station's own spaniel is called Ben. Okay. Bye. Breakfast. What do you do? Good boy. Catch nicely. Ben Good belongs boy. to station manager Ron Nicholson. The dog is part of it here. Uh, he's known as head of security. Um, he barks when any strangers come in, which is a good thing. Because it is such a small setup, we have to get on. There's no room here for prima donnas or, if you like, tantrums in the corner. If anybody has anything to say, they must say it. Music, news, and local news. Yorkshire Dales Radio. They're on the dime in the world. With a total staff of ten, Yorkshire Dales Radio covers 2,000 square miles, from Skipton in the south to Richmond in the north. 
precious things love has in store we have all the love Yorkshire Dales Radio's Out and About. It's Wednesday, and amongst today's items have information about regular indoor bowls, the local pub quizzes, news for members of Carlton Cricket Club, and Barn Oldswick's local camera club. It cost a quarter of a million pounds to get Yorkshire Dales Radio on the air. That's a pound for each of its potential listeners. But the station is currently losing money, and that's a headache for Ron Nicholson and his accountant. We need to chase quite a few more debtors in. We've got a few overdue now. Well, that's always the way, isn't it? Nobody so. pays up quickly to them these days. We'll be in profit by the end of year two. That's normal business practice. Uh, you expect to make a profit after two years, and we will. The phone bills are going down, which is good. Yeah. So the memo of last month did work. Right. So we haven't got any unauthorised calls now? No, no, it's all going down nicely. Everybody gets paid. Um, nobody works for nothing. But the salaries are not large but everybody does two jobs our sales manager presents an evening show um, our guy who schedules our commercials does also an evening show and Alison Brand isn't just a receptionist a secretary and a reporter she also sells advertising a refurbished cafe in Hawes is her target today Hello. Hello. They like to uh, pay as little as possible and they will push and push and push until you eventually give in. Can you refresh us on them prices then? If you wanted to do a five week campaign on a day on day off basis at 30 second adverts, um, it's £270 for the whole campaign. Obviously plus VAT and plus your um, production charge. No, the production charge. <laughs> The Yorkshire Sofa Company's massive January sale is now on with huge discounts and enormous. <laughs> <laughs> the lowest production charges are for commercials made in the station's own studio. I'll take that piece out. And Does it make you want to rush down there and buy <laughs> Maybe something? I, what? It's the fact that it is local, that it's a mass media, it's immediate, it's very cost effective. Um, and it's, it's very portable. Radio, um, unlike television, you can take it anywhere with you. <laughs> Journalist Sarah Lister arrives for the mid-morning news conference. You're late. No, you're no, late. no, this is the time I'm meant to come no, to No, you're not. You're supposed to come at half past. It is half past. Right, OK. So, first thing, the police have found about a missing person. Ian's just You've just that had that type. Yeah. Right, OK, well, definitely. But he's been, missing, he's been missing since the second, and they're worried about the, the weather. Basically, right. it's getting very cold. Right. They haven't said anything about his, his psychological state. So I've got my help to keep going all day. It's like aerobics, if you like. I think it's brilliant. It's the only station we get our 60s music on. Well, we like, uh, we like the quizzes that they do, competitions. It informs a lot of the Yorkshire Dales people of what's going on in the area that you wouldn't normally hear about. Now do you ever think we'll... we had one of his own anyway. Don't you think so? Skipton police are appealing for help in tracing a 45-year-old man reported missing from his home yesterday evening. Barry Wilkins was last seen in Elslack on the afternoon. Come on. <laughs> After the news, James Wilson's show has a wine tasting. This is the treat of the month. I'm joined by Rob Pierce, who's the Wines and Spirits Manager of Booth Supermarket in Ilkley. Hi, Rob. Hi, doing, James. You all right? I'm excited. I'm what excited. have we got today? I heard, I heard a little while ago, off air, I heard a large bang and a pop. What was it? it was, don't tell me it was a tube going or anything like that, was it? No, it was a nice bottle of champagne. I'm picking up vibrations. She's giving me the excitations. I'm backing up. After you've um, got the, uh, the bubbles into the bottle, you have to get the dead yeast cells and, and deposit out. Oh, sorry, James. oh, busy, busy. So I'll sit here, you don't mind, yeah? Okay. 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 
I'm Becky Hall with the latest from AA Vodafone Roadwatch. Firstly, the centre of Dent is closed at the moment. You'll also find temporary traffic lights in Garsdale between Halls and Sebra on the A684 and also on the B6255 Halls to Ingleton Road at Mid Whiddle. There are the lowdowns on the slowdowns, but don't forget, if you're stuck for a while, then give me a dial on the traffic hotline number. That's 01756 700 172. Yorkshire Dales Radio's Traffic and Travel, brought to you by Nicholas Smith. <laughs> 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 I like this one. Well, I, I really this like one. this one, yeah. It's gorgeous, yeah. It's lovely. I'm going to take it back to my desk with me. Get ready for the Just don't answer the phone. Yeah. Just <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Five wines later, James Wilson's show has come to an end. I don't like that at all. That one's good. I like that one. The special drinks promotions. I think theirs sounds a bit too much. Anyway, I'll read the place news line now. <laughs> Absolutely awful. James, it's uh, fair to say, is our more serious output. And if we'd have gone on a bit longer, we'd have had a few listeners up here, actually, um, uh, which normally we count upon. But uh, you're quite right. It's. Uh, it's one of those quirky little things, not peculiar to Yorkshire Dales Radio, but it's something we embrace uh, on a regular basis. In halls, there's no relaxation for sales girl Alison Brandt. Having sold the cafe advertising, she's now working as a reporter. <laughs> Yorkshire Dales Radio is a two-centre station. Down the road from Hawes Auction Mart, it's the caravan which two days a week is home to James Wilson's show. If the fox hunting is banned, they're going to put the horses down and put the dogs down. Now, they should show a bit of compassion like the working class did. When the miners, when their pit ponies come out of the pit, they lead a life of luxury. This little caravan and, uh, has actually done sterling service for more than one radio station. Uh, Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a very temporary facility. We have actually applied for um, an Objective 5B grant to convert this facility here into a studio. The roadshow thrives on noise, OK? The more noise we hear, the more we give away, all right? So, hello, Skipton, how are you doing, all right? Yeah! No, it's not loud enough. I'll tell you what, would anybody like some sweets? Yeah! Mike Hammond is Yorkshire Dales Radio's most impressive example of multi-skilling. As well as running the sales and marketing, I also front the road shows, do a radio show, write copy, as, as you know. Um, basically, just about everything, which everybody does, we all look in together. Um, it's a nice feeling, of course, when you get to a site and you start to set up and people start to arrive. Um, the have, I've got to say, been times when we've got to a site uh, set up and there's been absolutely nobody there. Here is the latest travel news from Yorkshire Dales Radio. There are no major problems on the area's roads today, apart from one or two mist and fog patches on high ground. However, there could be some delays in the around Skipton and hundreds of people stopped to join in the fun of it on the Yorkshire Dales Radio Merit and Right Road. It's brilliant, there's a wide range, uh, ranging from like 60s and 70s music and then they put like 90s music on during the afternoon and uh, that's really good. It's quite good. It's quite good for a local station. It's a radio I wonder really, I suppose. I mean, I listen to it radio in car. But the stranger said that because I did actually tune into it by mistake yesterday. This has made everybody join together, whereas we have halls and skips and, and other places. It's all brought us nearer to each other, I think, really. I'm going to be where the light is shining on me Like a rhinestone cowboy Riding out on a horse in a dark bungled rodeo Well, let's hear some... Shouting, some cheering, let's go for me! Yeah, we do have our quiet days as well, sometimes um, not much goes on. Um, but yeah, in general we have a laugh, there's a lot of people coming in and uh, always somebody to make a cup of tea or coffee for. Nothing more, nothing less on the... Well, that was a story of one tiny radio station playing the survival game, but what are the prospects for the 200-plus TV channels that are on the cards for the next century? More about that after the break. <laughs>